Hope you're having a great week. Overworked and Underplayed is a not safe for work Dungeons and Dragons actual play podcast about a group of incredible young professionals who find themselves transported to a strangely familiar place full of fantasy and magic. See attached for episode description and content warnings. Talk soon and thanks for listening. <sighs> oh man, I really needed that. Man, that lawyer conversation, I was so bored. Like, oh my gosh. Just back and forth of who's Crystal, who's not Crystal. That's, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah. I don't really get why Crystal's paying a lawyer when she wanted to do all the talking. I mean, that's a fair point. I'm going to need another drink for that one. Yeah, here, I'll get that one for you, Richard. Oh, thanks. Oh, wait, can I have one? Oh, yes, you can have one too, Bentley. Okay. Hey, you know Montioc? I thought he was a real creepazoid at first, but it turns out I think he's just like a bad pirate or something. What do you guys think of him? He's got great teeth. Aren't pirates inherently bad? I was going to say, I don't well, know like, about the quality of these pirates. I was going to say, do you mean a bad, bad quality pirate yeah. or he's a bad individual? No, no, he like a, a quality. Pirate. His quality is bad because he seems too nice to be a bad pirate. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I, I think he's an all right guy. And as long as we can come up with the 800 gold to pay Nemio to get the phone, it'll be okay. And not our problem. Hey, now, we agreed on 1,500. Don't short me behind my face. Oh, hey, Nimeo, you're you're here still. Ah, Nimeo's always around. Greetings, adventurers. This is Overworked and Underplayed, a D&D podcast for young professionals by young professionals. I'm Alex Caps, your DM or district manager. Today's icebreaker. Who is your favorite NPC? What up? It's your boy Marcel Hardy playing Richard Cox, a human consultant turned halfling bard who wholly believes it's better to be lucky than good, but it's best to be both. And Richard's favorite NPC up to this point so far has probably been, as a group, the Ricks. Hmm. It's quite oh, a colorful band really of good. characters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a callback. Oh, I need to call on him again. Hello, sweet angel babies. Um, so obviously, of course, Taylor's favorite, most polite NPC is Tor. Yes. Yes. Uh, why? Thank you, milady. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie, and I play Crystal, the drow druid with her very own MLM, Crystal Clarity, contrary to what a lawsuit may or may not allege. And Crystal's favorite character, favorite NPC is Taylor Jacobs. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it, you know, it tracks because Crystal definitely has main character syndrome. Wow. She yep. thinks everybody's an NPC. Everyone I love her. that. Wow. That's a good love one. That. Good answer. It's in real life, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Wow. She loves a good yes man. It's great. Hey, I'm Marjorie. I play Amy and Amanda, a basic B rough and tumble human fighter with a, a dentistry degree. She also loves exploring the cavities of strangers. I haven't uh, pulled that one in a while. So, oh. okay, favorite NPC. It's a little hard to pick. Definitely the Ricks. That was they were really fun. I love Tor. I feel like maybe Tor. Right? Oh, I think Tor with the Ricks is uh, kind of like a very close second. Hi, I'm Tyler. I play the IT paladin known as Bentley, and Bentley's favorite NPC. It's Talos the dragon because of the <laughs> one single line of seriously, can you just do something? <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me that Sundrop isn't your favorite NPC? Friends forever. Sundrop isn't an NPC. Sundrop Sun is a way of life. Sundrop is the uh, main character. Okay. Okay. Oh <laughs> I am Alex Caps, your DM or district manager, and uh, like most parents, I love all of my children equally, but some more equally than others. Hey listeners, this show is made possible by the support of our awesome patrons. In addition to a thank you for their support, our patrons get an ad-free listening experience and access to exclusive bonus content. In the weeks between episodes, our patrons are getting an extra show where we recap episodes and talk about some of our favorite moments. For more details about what you can get by supporting us on Patreon, check us out at patreon.com slash ownuppod. So when we last left off, you guys had a... Uh... Well, I was going to say productive conversation, but we'll just say you had a conversation with the opposing legal counsel. Discovery was... I think it was pretty productive. It wasn't. 
Discovery was sent to your legal office, and then you guys hatched a scheme with Nimeo and with uh, Captain Montioc. And now I need to find money. So we pick up that evening at the Crow's Nest. So what are you guys doing? So you said Nimeo's already left? Yeah. He's Nim- left? Nimeo basically left as soon as he name-dropped uh, uh, Albatross. Mm. And so wait, how did we pay in the thousand gold? He's going to get that before he starts. Oh, uh, okay. He's getting the crew together. Gotcha. All right, so what are you guys doing with your uh, with your day, or the rest of your day? You guys, I don't think we have $1,000 to give him, or gold pieces, excuse me. We can, I think we can scrounge up some coin and maybe- How much do you have, Richard? I have- You seem really confident. Maybe you have a lot more than I do. I think you and I have probably approximately the close amount that we've received from Bluegill so far. Yeah. And I think that- you know, maybe they can give us an advance on our next couple of paychecks because we don't really need future paychecks. We're not trying to be here super long, right? We need to get this phone and we need to get out of Dodge. Well, why do we, Crystal, why do we need to get your phone? Why don't we just get out of Dodge? Yeah, I asked that a couple of hours ago. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I mean, now that the, we're talking about money, yeah, I feel like now yeah. you're worried. Now, now yeah. you want to, now you want, um, because it's the tangible, yeah. So t- the tangible, yeah. <laughs> the tangible, yeah. <laughs> tangible, yeah. <laughs> So I think that the reason we need to get my phone back is because there's someone that's stolen my identity. Yeah, but what do you but, care? It's in this world. But and Crystal, she's... you're a drow. You used to be a human being. That Shouldn't that be the priority? We should like get back home so to fix that. Yes, but I also need my phone to do that. <laughs> you do? Yeah, it's got my entire life's work on it. But it's backed up like Richard said. So? What? That doesn't make any sense, Crystal. For the first <laughs> time ever. Taylor is like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bit- Bentley just puts a hand on Amy Ann's shoulders like you're fighting a losing battle. But I yeah, gotta- Richard is like <laughs> making eye contact. Bentley's like, Bentley gets it. <laughs> what if Crystal's phone is actually disabled from iCloud because she she's worried about her data being on the cloud? <laughs> Maybe so. Well, in that case, that's your own fault. No, I'm sure she. No, no it's she has up. copies but of copies. I'm yeah. just worried now that now Crystal because like, what if? We don't. If we don't have a thousand dollars, we can't get Nimeo to get the phone back. Then we're gonna go in tomorrow, and you're just gonna probably end up going to jail. Again, been there. I'm but really... but you had to sign a <laughs> contract with an Eagle Cor- or Corporation to get out of it. Y- yeah. So you're gonna do that again? Probably. With who? Oh, that raises a good point about competition. Oh, there's gotta be a different another one, right? Another church? Another bluegull. Oh, another bluegull? That would come in, yeah. That, that would, would be the orchard, which we destroyed. We did destroy the There can't be only one corporation, too, yeah. in this whole world. There can't be only two political parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to... I'm trying, <laughs> there are other corporations we know that for a fact. We've driven, or not driven, we've walked in the district. We've been there at lunchtime. We've seen companies. That's yeah, right. We know that there, but there yeah. might not be at the same level as bluegull. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they can pay more. So what I'm hearing <laughs> is we need to go find the green party. <laughs> I'm just trying to think it th- think it through, even though I, I'm pretty sure I have the lowest intelligence of the group. So, I, you know, you got to tell me if I'm mistaken, guys. Actually, I think I have the lowest intelligence. What do you have? I have 10. Are we all I have the lowest. I'm I at have, 9. Oh, oh you are? Yeah, I'm also nine. at 10. I have 12, the barbarian. <laughs> 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 well, that what makes sense yours? because intelligence is a dump stat if you actually know how to play the game. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Wow. Tyler okay, woke up Tyler. And chose violence yes. today. Okay. But yeah. whatever you guys think is best, I don't want to be a, you know, the squeaky wheel or anything. It just seems like really risky cuz if you go to jail, then what are we going to do? Well, I'm probably going to go to jail if we don't get this phone back cuz they're going to sue me. Well, that's what I'm saying if you took the deal they gave you earlier and give up my entire identity. You are a drow. You've already given it up, Crystal. No, I didn't. I'm that sorry. was not when consensual. I was a centaur, I didn't lose my like. Well, Speaking of, how are you human again? Somebody. What? Did we just gloss over the fact that you're a human again? <laughs> well, I mean, we addressed it. I thought. Yeah, I thought so. Didn't we? I feel like she, every now and then Bentley she swats behind her to double yeah. check. <laughs> now Bentley was looking at his frosted tips that y'all forced. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what we glossed over. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. Looking good, by the way, Bentley. Bentley's got permanent yeah. frosted tips and douche sunglasses. 
<laughs> He's going. Bentley's <laughs> going through like a Florida I think man it's midlife time for a crisis. Character art update. So yeah. what I'm hearing is Bentley is Pete got, Davidson. Yeah. Like the I mean, equivalent of Vipers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but anyway, okay. How much do I need to throw in the pot? I don't well, know. We can always just have Crystal go get a loan to yeah. cover it. We just need the money. It doesn't matter where it comes from. If people want to chip in more than others, that would be greatly appreciated considering the efforts that we're going through to get certain <laughs> items for specific people. Why are yeah. you looking at me? I don't like that. <laughs> are you looking at, at Crystal passive aggressively? <laughs> Richard is just putting that information out in the air for okay, everyone. Okay, okay, fine. I will go find out how to get money. I'll be back. She just walked just out. Just find a loan shark. <laughs> but I... What, I I thought, okay, what are we doing? Are we throwing money into a pot or what? Probably, you... at least some. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we'll come back to that. Okay. Uh, so Crystal's... Crystal stepped outside by herself. <laughs> no, if Crystal's walking out, Taylor's following. Okay, so the <laughs> two of you step outside, and you are in the uh, Fisherman's District or the Seafarer's District. You hear sounds of uh, bells ringing as ships are coming back in for the evening. You see people tying off their ships for the night or hauling their fish in. The very distinct smell of what you would assume to be some kind of tuna or salmon fills the air. So not semen. No, it does not <laughs> smell like semen. I was gonna you make child. it. Wow. So, uh, what do you guys? Wh- where are you guys headed? What's your plan? I think possibly we might be able to find some financial assistance on the dark web. What oh. do you think? That seems the kind of thing that would be done there. I could also just set up a booth and start selling Crystal Clarity products in yeah. exact violation of what <laughs> Yeah, just get a business loan. Do. Yeah, I, I mean, they have formally, have they formally filed? That's fair. I don't think so. They're trying to settle before they file. So you're not in direct violation because it hasn't been filed yet? I'm going to say that <laughs> filing has been has been sent in, they're reserving the right to cancel their charges. Because mm. I'm going to say that's how that works in this world. Because okay. I don't know how that works in the real world. Gotcha. So there's five of us. Richard's talking to Bentley and Amy, and we just got an advance on our last thing. We don't buy things here. They just gave us 200 gold each. That'll cover the upfront thing. And then we just have to figure out the rest. That's true. I mean, to be fair, we don't buy things. We haven't had money until now. <laughs> Well, also, we didn't plan to be here for super long. Yeah. I mean, you, you haven't been paying him for the nights that we've been sleeping at the inn? No, I have. Okay. No, we just chose pennies a, compared okay. to... We okay. chose a very cheap inn. That's, that's a good point. So, that smells like fish. Alex, I know that I have made some attempts to recruit some people into Crystal Clarity, and yeah. I'm assuming that that's in part like why I got noticed by Crystal. So I would say that you would, if you were to look at the list, the discovery documents list, you would definitely see uh, some of the people you've tried recruiting in there as witnesses. Okay. And so is there, is it a fair assumption to state that I have a downline? Did you successfully recruit any of those people? I think so. At least one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll say your downline is, let's say... It's how many, Montioc, ha, ha, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've recruited a and few some people. some of the other sailors. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to say you have three people technically on your downline. That are loyal to you. Some of the other people flaked. Okay. I'm just trying to get my profit margins in, in, in place. She was, like, she was like, sell to your friends and family, and they're like, we're orphans. Yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> That doesn't mean they can't have friends. That's a really wild assumption of you to make that orphans don't have, have friends, but you okay. Taylor is going to like interject and be like, so I'm pretty good at like working and then also I think like smashing stuff. Okay. What if you're my manager and we find a fight club? <laughs> what a wild <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> That's risky. Or, you know, we could, we could find your downline. Like I mean, that's probably a safer, safer bet potentially. I was trying to think of something that would make a lot of money quickly. Quickly like betting, yeah, yeah, gambling. Yeah. What else makes a lot of money quickly? Drinks. Oh, too bad I'm not a horse anymore. We could have done horse races. I feel like it wouldn't work that way. With... Or centaur races. Maybe there okay. might be centaur races. So, as you say that, like you, you're you're thinking this in your head. All of a sudden, 
you feel really weird. <gasps> this flash of light happens, and you're back to being a centaur. No! Oh, Chris. Did it rip all her clothes off? Your poor yeah, slacks. Yeah, she's back to being naked. <laughs> yeah, really. Or is it one of those things like where she? How would a how would a horse wear wear pants? <laughs> is it one of those things like where she's the whole? They're just stretch? over your back legs. Yeah, like, just shorts essentially. Yeah. It's like invest in spandex, like the Hulk. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've put pants on a horse before, I was and gonna it's say. front legs usually. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's like, mm, actually. <laughs> I love this I had a costume contest, and I was like, I could do that. And right. my horse was like, I guess you can. Yeah. <laughs> she just let uh, me do it. That was really cool of her. Yeah. And and anyway, so you necessarily don't realize it's happened, because it just kind of happens really quickly while you're tall. talking. You do get You do notice you're taller. It's like it's not like uh it's not like a pain. What I'm getting at is it's not painful. It just kind of happened really quick. <laughs> and she's gonna swat again, like she's been like checking every once in a while. Yeah, and she feels horse. It's definitely ass. there. Oh, man. Oh man. What the hell? I don't know what 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 did did you just say the word centaur and you just summoned your horse body? I mean, I guess. Oh, well, I guess we can do centaur racing. <laughs> I guess we can. Let's go see if there's centaur racing. <laughs> you can be my jockey, I guess. <laughs> this could be wild. What if you made me a potion that made me super fast? We can, we, we can work that. We can She's like, it. here, have you tried methamphetamine? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like horse steroids are not ethical. A centaur steroids. But on the black market, we might be able to make some change that way. Maybe. Suddenly, this has become a Breaking Bad podcast. <laughs> Suddenly, Crystal d- blame the American like, healthcare system. Unlocks <laughs> the cheat code for horse racing. I'm not good at like multi level marketing, like uh-huh. you are, but I am good at money. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Let's see if are there centaur races in this world, Alex. Sure. That's why they're always trying we'll, to give a map. We'll let's let's go to a, let's go to a Google terminal and see what we have available, what options we might have. So Crystal walks up to a local Google terminal. <sighs> Welcome to Google Terminal eight one eight one nine. And he sees he reaches in his pocket and pulls out a piece of paper. And goes, "How may I be of assistance?" Yeah, your day sounds like it's going as bad as good as mine is. Um, okay, can you give us information on centaur racing? Like locations, like um, like statistics, how to enter, um, what goes into it, like what is it enhancing looks drugs. like, um, maybe that too, but as like a like a last resort, maybe. Okie doke. Here we go. Uh, please. Uh, swipe your Bluegle card if you have one, or present cash. I can do it. Swipes. Okay. Present cash. I thought Bluegle terminals were free. No. If you have a Bluegle membership. <laughs> no. You oh, guys you have, have you your get Bluegle free pass. usage. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, so he says, he says, all right, one second, and you see as his like eyes start glowing, and uh, all of a sudden he just ah! and he starts like the the piece of paper <laughs> just starts running out his mouth. And he's gathering it up, Jesus. and he like he uses his teeth to tear it. No he wonder goes, he doesn't like his job. He God, goes, he has go. some kind of reflex. Yeah, here, here's your information. Um, Crystal takes it with like her pointer finger and her thumb. It's very dry. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't that, know if that makes work. it better or not. <laughs> I just didn't want you thinking it was soggy. Like, so Crystal starts. It's Crystal's bedtime, apparently. Apparently. I need more coffee. So Crystal starts going over that information with Taylor. Okay. Um, So you guys see that just on the uh, west side of the wall, there appears to be fairgrounds where they have weekly centaur, or not centaur, but they have weekly horse racing of all quadrupedal uh, manner of creatures. It says, no flying allowed. Okay, we can make this work. We could. What's the size of the pot? So this race is tonight. <gasps> How convenient! And the pot size is well. Let's see what the pot size is. It hasn't been one in a while. 
6,600 gold. Okay. The entry fee is 150. Well, we definitely have that. Okay. I guess we'll take the risk. All right. And in the meantime, we'll try and contact you down line. Yeah. I feel like they're going to be on home. <laughs> All right. Bit. So we cut back to the bar. <laughs> Can okay. you just say how funny it is that, oh, I need money. Let's go gamble and see if we can. <laughs> yeah. This is money. D&D, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> you got to risk it for the biscuit. We got to roll the dice <laughs> to see what happens. <laughs> Just drive on over to a gambling legal state and start buying lottery tickets. This isn't that. This no. is more calculated. <laughs> There's, There's some what, skill. Like Ten horses racing. Yeah. Yeah. So Richard, Richard Bentley. Um. Okay. So what if we talk to Nimio and have him try to steal the other thing that we're trying to get? Also, in addition to the phone, because Crystal Clarity apparently has both of those things. I think that is a good idea. I don't know if I trust them with that other item as much as I trust them with Crystal's phone. <laughs> now there's just the three of us. We yeah, can be a little yeah, bit more yeah. open in our conversation. Yeah. Oh, I wow. agree with that. I don't really care if we get the phone or not. Yeah, I, I don't care about Crystal's like... garbage. <laughs> she, I she already like... has rock. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Where she was just like, man, isn't it annoying how Taylor always agrees with her? God. Bentley, she's not here to defend herself, okay? We can talk about how ridiculous this situation is with the phone because it's like off our main mission. Oh, was that out loud? I didn't need to. <laughs> you had your bracelet on. <laughs> we should probably check in with them, too, to see. I suppose. We don't want them to think they have to get all 2,500 okay. and they only have Split to get some amount of party. money. Split the so party. Split the party. How much did we say we have each? We How just, much are you saying you have, Bentley? <laughs> <laughs> we know he just got two hundred because we all just uh-huh. got two hundred. I did look in my notes, and we got one hundred dollars, uh, one hundred gold pieces a month with our old contract. That was the old contract. Yes. Hey, Bentley, let me see your. And character it's been about sheet. a month. So yeah. we got Why? 100 gold. I just okay. want to see your character sheet really quick. I don't want you to see my character sheet. Well, that's too bad. Because I'll just tell you how much I have. I'm yeah. Sure I, have less so, than I think I have like two hundred and thirty-ish gold pieces. Oh, is that it? Uh, well, unless my math is wrong, what do you have? I have 473, because we just got Oh, 200. I have 430. I didn't count that 200 that we just got. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Four, 473. Some of that's in the bank, so if we each put, like... How much are you telling the party you got, Bentley? I'll tell the party I have... How much did Amy Ann say? She said 470, and I have Richard four... also said 430. I have 500. All right, Bentley, roll me a d20. <laughs> I'm going to use our good omen. <laughs> All right. What a damn waste. Wow. We're going to the horse races, you selfish asshole. For 6,600. Richard, Richard Jason, the, uh, the bracelet. Hey, guys, I think if everyone's okay, we're going to, for that first $1,000, just all put in 200. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, you only need to get 1,500. Are Tyler. we still there? Huh? No, he's yeah. using the bracelet. Oh, uh, I got okay, a okay. Uh, nine. A nine? Okay. So, Amy Ann and Richard, if y'all want to roll insight. Yes. <laughs> Richard has been kind of pocket watching Bentley a little bit, so he knows that. Um... I said I had more than what y'all have. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, I feel like that should give me advantage. Well, that's why he's willing to do this insight. Goodness. Ten. <laughs> So a 10. <laughs> what are we doing? Insight? Yeah. Oh, you said just roll a dice. Do I get to add deception? You don't have deception. Oh, but I can still Oh, you got my... a nine on your die. Yeah. Okay. And what is your... Charisma is three. Okay. Well, that's okay. Be- not better than a 19. Yeah, not better than a 19. Yeah, no. so, so Marjorie's like, <laughs> no need to take this offline. Overworked and underplayed will circle back after these messages. Oh, Amy I, I guess yeah. Sorry, Amy okay. Ann is like yeah. That seems that, that seems about right. Probably <laughs> like you know she's doing the math in her head. She goes, uh, I mean, why would he not tell us how much money yeah, he had? Yeah. And then you look and you're like you see that that <laughs> Amy Ann probably is going like believes you, and you look over and and uh, uh, Richard is just staring. He's at just you. shaking his head. Doubt. Yeah. So you're not gonna say anything. You're nope. just gonna accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Not him for what I was trying truth- to accomplish. At least I was truthful enough to admit that I have more than you. <laughs> I don't have as much as, more than you as I thought I did originally. It's not that much more. All right. So I thought I had like nine hundred gold, but gotcha. I don't. So I guess like meta game, meta meta game. So crystal clarity slash her or, no fake crystal mm-hmm. has or her legal team has both of the items that we're after yeah. the crystal. 
Crystal's crystal. Yeah. Crystal's yeah. crystal's crystal. And um and so we're trying to get the phone before tomorrow's whatever it is legal thing. Apparently it's a deposition. Whatever it is. I, I don't know what with that. any of those words mean. But you know, it's like okay, Same. so we're going there. Uh, we need to. Did Fizzlebang give us a time, like a timeline, like oh, be back by X, whatever, with the crystal? Or no, he just said that's the next thing we're looking for is the crystal Varge. Okay. Yeah, I don't think and there's a timeline for Fizzlebang. I think we he have just our, wants us to get it as we. And we have our uh, whatever the compass magic item detector is, so we can kind of use that to navigate us towards it. The dragon radar. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to remember what the other name is. The dragon radar. The um the Palm Pilot. That's what it's so called. So the so and he told us Fizzlebang told us that Crystal Clarity has this crystal, right? He or told us that that's his biggest suspicion. His suspicion, like yeah. she has it physically, or the cult has it. Do we didn't remember? get that detail. Okay. Hmm. I'm just yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to I mean, that. if we can extrapolate information, like this is pretty important for us, and it's always the people that have the item with them. It's never that's like just true. in some random location. Yeah. Yeah, Except yeah, this time it actually is in some random location. Like some random grunt is carrying it around because who would ever expect to the door person to have that? <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's just at his apartment. He's like, it really brings the room together. <laughs> <laughs> just looks like a salt lamp, yeah, I'm exactly. imagining. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's all. Yeah, and that's the fun part. We don't want to outsource the fun adventuring to someone that we don't trust is gonna, that's not going to cross us over. So we want to steal the crystal ourselves. Yeah, we that, we were told not to steal the crystal. Bluegill. <laughs> that's true. Bluegill gave us permission to do that stuff. But we we should. So how much do we trust Nimio and Montioc to like not bring this back to us? Like I I get it if if um, Crystal is okay with going back to jail, but Richard Bentley, I ain't going back. <laughs> but you we never been. went to jail. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we what find out that Amy. What a twist! When Amy Ann was uh, nine years old, she stole a pack of gum, and her parents sure. Sure, sure, had sure, sure, her sure. had uh, <laughs> had the sheriff come arrest her. No, let Marjorie. Just... No, that's all. That's all. I'm just saying. I really don't want to go back to jail, guys. Uh huh. Uh huh. What is this back to jail? <laughs> yeah, we're, that, we're like we've glossed over a lot of things today. I don't think that's the thing we're gonna gloss over. Bentley is now Speaking sad. of things that we've glossed over, I heard you had a tragic back. Story, oh yeah! Oh, I won't say anything about it because I don't know how much of it was true or not, or how much he was just pulling my. Oh no, it was all true. Are you... Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm. I'm not I still haven't say... told her what it is because <laughs> yeah, I still he haven't has come a, up with something. He said the thing of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, Amy Ann, like uh, someone finally came forward as like, uh, "Have you been stealing people's teeth?" <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not this time. But no, we don't know that they're not going to bring it back to us, yeah. which is why we have to do the coordinated effort of while yeah. something's happening, maybe that's the distraction yeah. while we go and oh, get I the, see. Okay. the crystal. And, and when I say stuff. bring it back to us, I mean like implicate. Yeah, right. Implicate. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. We're on the same page. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Because well, then we'll be halfway done and we can get the fuck out of here. I hope so. I'm really getting... What ye- what month is it? <laughs> right. Clearly, it's December. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it has a Christmas heist. The more the more time goes on, the more I think both Amy Ann and Richard are, are feeling that like anxiety of like we've been here a really long time. This is not really you know a fun adventure now. <laughs> it's like oh shit, <laughs> yeah. we need to go home. Right. It's hit everyone at different times. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And now uh, it's your. Doesn't hit Bitly. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right. Remember, so, work is a hobby. <laughs> so we cut back to dynamic duo. Yeah, our dynamic duo headed to the horse racing arena. Do we know that they're going? I don't think so. Did you guys tell us? Did you guys yeah. respond to Richard's bracelet message about the money that you guys are getting or not getting? It's up to you. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they at least they're still alive, guys. Okay. How, right. What's the range on this sucker? Like, can they be at the races and still chat with everybody? I would say yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. you guys find it pretty easy to make it through town, and you get to the you get when you get to the gate, you tell the gate guards where you're headed, and they're like, "Oh, you going to spectate?" No. No. No, we're here to enter. The two of you are gonna race. <laughs> Yes. That's the goal. Oh, we, that's that's 
Okay. Well, Do we not look like the ones that regularly race? Best of luck. Thank you. I feel like you didn't answer my question, though, which is what is our competition like? <laughs> well, you don't get too many centaurs out these parts, but... Uh, what are they, jaguars or what? Uh, Pumas? No, mostly horses and, and other, other types of uh, quadrupedal beasts. Like you lions? Know. He says, no, you know, every now and then we get a unicorn. Uh, <gasps> uh, and Game sometimes changer. we get a, a bullet. Uh, sometimes we get... A bullet? Yeah. You know, the little uh, the critters that like to ride under the surface of the ground. They're under Those us have... right now? Yeah. What is that? There's, have you not ever heard of a bullet? There, it's, a, it's a creature. It burrows underground. Like a mole? Kind of, except it's uh, armored. Okay. That's really weird. And they're fast, and goblins like riding them. Uh, okay. And then every now and then we get to displace a beast, and that's always a load of fun at the race. Okay. okay. Do you have a book of these things? Just like offhand. Uh, they it... might have a book there, like how to, uh, how to race. They may. <laughs> they probably have a statistics book. Like a I'm, lot sure of they have, they're, they're, I'm sure there's some people there that can explain everything you need to know. Okay. But best of luck. Thank you. Okay. And as you walk away, you hear them, like, the guards all laughing, like, oh, we got to go watch that one. Hmm. Hmm. Not a great sign. Mm-mm. Should we watch a race and see, like, the times? Yeah. Before we enter? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you see that there are multiple heat races that night. Mm-hmm. And uh, you see that the, uh, the first uh, qualifier is about to get ready to begin. And you watch as the five riders trying to qualify take off. And basically, as soon as they get out of the gate, you see weapons fly out and people are... It's it's like a combat race. <gasps> like jousting? It's like chariot racing. Yes, very much like chariot racing. People ramming each other, people swinging weapons at the rider... And you see as uh, one dude takes a spear like right to the throat and comes off of his horse. Uh, oh, people are riding horses? Yes. People are, are all sorts. Basically, anyone can enter with... It. The only thing you have to have is a mount and a rider. How many healing potions do you have? <laughs> a lot. You have a lot of them? Yeah. Hmm. If we just had to guess... <laughs> What level do these people look like? <laughs> On a scale of one to twenty, <laughs> um, uh, I would say probably about a six. Oh no! Uh -huh. I'm looking at people that have played D and D longer than us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking great. Might make for a fun situation. Let's do it. As I said, does it look more like a combat thing or a skills challenge thing? Uh, it's a little bit of both. So you uh you proceed forward to the uh registration counter and uh you see there's a, a half orc behind the counter. What do you want? Hi <laughs> I'm Taylor Jacobs. I'm Crystal. He and... just kinda he just kinda glares at both of you. What do you want? Well I can see we're gonna be friends. Um I would like to enter this race. You? Yes. Yeah, and me too. And Taylor. You two want to enter this race? Yeah. Yes. How? Are he you... starts speaking really slow and really <laughs> loud. He, he sees he pulls out, a, he's pulls out a manual and he starts flipping through the pages. He's like, centaur, centaur, centaur. Uh, so you being the centaur, you technically by definition count as a mount and a rider. So... Where's your mount? That's my mount. He says he looks very confused. He goes, you want to ride her? Yeah. And you want her to ride you? Yeah. Well, at least it's consensual. He says he flips through and he goes, all right, your funeral. We've got you, uh, you got the entry fee? Yep. Yep. Here you go. And she I just hands it over. She takes the gold, and he goes, okay, well, you registered for heat race number four. Okay. All right. Is there, like, a warm-up area? 
he just kind of points over at an empty field like next to the grounds and he goes, I guess you could trot out along there. Thank you. All right, let's get some reps in. Crystal's like, go for it. You go, you go, girl. All right, Taylor's going to start warming Crystal up. Crystal is not doing repetitions <laughs> of anything. Her sword around, but she stretching. is going to make sure her spells are all good. Which, which circle did you go with? Me? Yeah. Is it the moon? Yeah, I think it's the moon. I don't know why I know that. So, so I'm just I'm crystal. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this out there. This would be an excellent time for you to turn into a bear. That's what I was thinking. I was like, what if she wild shaped and then somehow I don't know how it works. Taylor went back to human, and so Taylor was riding <gasps> crystal. Oh, and, cr- and uh, Taylor turned into a giant riding oh, a bear. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be awesome. Taylor thinks no, I'm just imagining that it somehow this is going to end up as Taylor in human form as a giant with a bear on her back. <laughs> a like, bear in, backpack. In, yeah. You're going to ride. Oh, back. you could ride bareback. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Katie's Anyways. like, no thanks. You could win that race barehanded. <laughs> <laughs> True. So. We don't know how to get Taylor back to her human form. Even if she thinks about it really hard. Okay, so so describe to me what you're doing to try to get back to your human form. Taylor's going to imagine her naked body or what she wears to the gym so that she's clothed or whatever. But then I imagine in her mind she would be naked. Thinking really hard about how comfortable she feels in her own skin. And as you do that, you you open your eyes, you're like, you, you think for a second, you're like, oh, I don't think it worked. But then you realize you're short, like you're shorter again. Crystal, look at it. That's awesome. I don't know how this helps us get. <laughs> you remember how you were a race? A caterpillar? <sighs> I'm, yeah, but I'm not going to be a caterpillar for this. No, you're right. That was a stupid idea I had. But what if <laughs> potentially you turned into something ferocious? Okay, like, and she just like flashes back to the bear, like <laughs> the bear she slaughtered. That you close your eyes, and all you see is like you bashing a bear over the skull, yeah. and its eye popping out. But it's not a very fast creature. But it's probably about the only thing that could carry a large tailor. I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, I could transform into a horse. That's an option. But it's not as vicious. And also, how would her casting be happening? She wouldn't be able to cast. You can't right? cast while wild shaped. Yeah. Can you cast in the race in general? There's no rule against magic. So like, I just no flying. Or okay, well maybe maybe it is better if you ride on. Taylor. I have no idea. This is a really stressful encounter. Okay. <laughs> We're really risking it here. It's a lot of money. <laughs> it is a lot of money. I'm just thinking. I'm unlikely. These people are used to fighting, and I might be better at running than fighting. I feel like you're going to be better at the fighting part. Yeah, Taylor's definitely planning on getting hit a bunch of times. Yeah, and if Taylor or if Crystal, she doesn't have that much health, so she's going to get busted up pretty bad. What I was initially imagining is like one arm around Taylor's waist, one arm with potion in her mouth. Okay. Crystal does take out her little satchel and, like, gives Taylor all of the health potions. She has, like, six of them. Okay. So She's going to put it around her waist underneath her blazer. Okay. And then I guess I'm going to... Is it... I mean, bears aren't that slow. Right? Let's see. Anybody else have any suggestions on what animal, what ferocious animal I should turn into? Well, are you, A trying, polar to, bear? Are you trying to be fast? Or tanky. I'm trying to be both. So like middle ground. A paladin. I feel like bear is Oh, girl. What have you turned into a So dragon? a bear actually oh, has a faster what what's your movement speed as a centaur? Forty. So a bear has the same movement speed of forty. It might be better to do what you were originally doing and then cast you have like ice knife and stuff, right? I like do, but like I can't that. take damage. Oh. It's a problem. I mean, I can, but I would be using up, like, most of my health potions. Let's do... This is such a hard decision. I didn't realize <laughs> I just thought it would be a funny idea. I wasn't yeah. saying yeah. you guys should yeah. do that. I think we stick with the original plan. Okay. You be the centaur, and I will... Because then we have two people 
So you're still able to fight. And yeah. that would be two fighters along with a True. horse. True. And instead it was one and one. Mm-hmm. So let's do it. Okay. All right. So sh- na- 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 na, you think about it and you're back to being a centaur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder how she does that. Just thinks about, thinks about her ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> about her ass being giant and then having a tail on it. Yeah. Yep. She thinks about her ass, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like now, if I could just get that horse's ass on the human body. And so uh, no! we're gonna. <laughs> so so you guys uh, saddle up, nice. And uh, you do a few practice runs, and you you that you see there's a few target dummies out there, and mm-hmm. like you you attack them as you're sw- swooping with through, their, and you start feeling sword. pretty good. Then you see another person get carted off with a sheet over them, and you realize, wow, this could get deadly. And it's about that time you hear. Is that, there a first, second, and third place situation? Yeah. Okay. And then you hear uh, over the announcement, Heat 3 is about to begin. And with that, we're going to cut back to the group at the bar. Yeah, and so I can do an origami crane, and I can hey. do a different kind of flowers, yeah. and I can do a duck, and with right. the holidays, What's... I learned how to do like a snowman, What's and the hat is separate. like? An origami duck looks like this, and he like shows a picture from his phone of one of the times he made an origami duck. Oh wow, Richard! That's actually really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I want so, an origami duck. I need all three of you to make a perception check. <laughs> like how we're just chilling. Out no, that's great. You guys are doing great. Uh, perception check. I got a seventeen. Okay. Eight. Nine. Okay. So Amy Ann and Richard, y'all are really into this whole origami discussion. Bentley, you're just kind of like nodding along. But wait, I like the origami duck. Oh, like yeah, you're, yeah. If you're you a fast like processor, the... you saw the duck, cool, I like it. Yeah, and but you hear something that like catches your attention. Out of the corner of your ear, as people have started filing in for the evening for the, uh, for the, uh, what? <laughs> the corner of your ear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I didn't even hear That's that. That's great. This is an uh, audio format. We can't say it, it, visual things. It gave me a little little giggle. So uh, you hear as the, the night crowd starts drifting in, you hear one of the guys say, hey, you going to go down to watch the death race tonight down at the fairgrounds? I hear they got a centaur that's going to have somebody riding them. He goes, oh, I'd pay double to see that. Oh, no. <laughs> what, what, what's that? What are you oh knowing? I think I know where Crystal and uh, Taylor went. Where's that? Uh, something called a death race. Um. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> uh, okay, should we go help them? <laughs> Can Taylor pop in over the bracelet and be like, <laughs> hey, Richard, can I get one of your pep talks? <laughs> just be like, hey, just Richard, I'm about to do something crazy. <laughs> just get bardic inspiration. That's what I'm like. Oh, my God. I've created like, remote please bardic give us inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> you have. You have. <laughs> You wouldn't be needing it for what we've just recently heard about called a death race, would you? Oh, I don't think it's a death race. It's just like a, a regular. It's okay, guys. Like a race. She just said she's not doing a death race. Oh, okay. Maybe it's oh, like. Maybe it's fine. Yes, right, we don't really okay. need to go there. <laughs> you can watch them. If you want. Okay, where is it at? So, it's just outside of town. Yeah, so, so Tyler, I'm sorry, Bentley, you hear again out of the corner of your ear, you hear him say, yeah, I hear the rider was that girl that's getting sued by the Church of Clarity. <laughs> is that just common knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> it is public record, so <laughs> you're famous. Uh, was it uh, news travels fast in a small town? Yeah. <laughs> Bad, Bad gas, gas travels fast. That's, 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 that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, we watched Letter Kenny. Bent- <laughs> Bentley's going to be like, hey, hey, guys, what's a death race? It's only the most exciting form of sport we have in these parts. You go down there and you watch the jockeys fight each other while the while their mounts try to get them around the track the fastest. You do it because it's got a big purse because lots of people bet on the races. Oh, okay, <gasps> okay. Do we need to bet on it? Sure. <laughs> He's like, I would. <laughs> it's just I'll like bet Bitcoin, right? Them. <laughs> yeah, it's like Bitcoin. <laughs> Richard's like, so you're telling me you learned how to transform back between a human and a centaur at will? That's awesome. You're so you're so smart, Taylor. 
Bardic inspiration. Yay! Yay! That was really good. Yeah, good job. Oh. And and you, right. you uh you feel so good about it, Richard. Yeah. You feel a little tingle and you have DM inspiration. <gasps> DM inspiration. That was very that was very, very creative. Oh, I like thank that. You. All right. I guess we should probably go watch them do this death race. I guess so, those these good. guys seem pretty sure that it's a death race. Okay. They're pretty sure and I definitely this time I definitely heard them tell you about this this the lawsuit. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's definitely our people. All right. Well, okay. Let's let's go watch them in this death race and make sure they don't die. A gratitude today keeps the haters away, and that's why we want to thank you for listening to Overworked and Underplayed. You just heard Alex Caps as our DM, Anna Lynn Hardy as Taylor Jacobs, Katie as Crystal 2.0, Marjorie as Amy Ann, Marcel Hardy as Richard Cox, and Tyler as Bentley. Episodes are edited by Marcel, and Circle Back episodes are edited by Katie. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll circle back in two weeks on February 22nd for the next episode. You can help us to get the word out by rating, reviewing, and subscribing wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also follow us on social at ownuppod. That's O-W-N-U-P-P-O-D. Subreddit r slash ownup. most slim that you've ever than Amy Ann's ever been I feel like so you got well, shit like a, teeth it was like a dentist slam yeah like a dental dam alright Tyler <laughs> oh stop <laughs> that's a dental dam oh,